Greetings. Greetings from wherever you are. This is a video that I'm going to make for uh, a parts caster that I'm going to build, or should I say put together. So I am uh, here at my brother's office actually, because this is a secret project. By the time you see this video, this guitar will be uh, built, painted, you know, all the way, and uh, ready to play. But anyway, enough with me talking. I'm just going to uh, walk you through to, any to anything I'm going to use, to everything I'm going to use. Please ex excuse my language, it's, English is not my native language, so bear with me in that one. So, I actually got the body and the neck from a Harley Benton kit. Harley Benton from those uh, living under a rock uh, is uh, a brand of uh, guitar and bass makers and instrument makers actually that uh, work under Thoman and they actually make pretty good stuff on very low budgets. So, yeah, I got those two from a kit. So, uh, the body is actually base wood. It's three pieces of base wood glued together. And the neck is uh, maple and rose hazer fretboard, which is actually, you know, roasted maple. So, yeah. The strap patterns I ordered from eBay from, you know, China. Some cheap ones and I ordered gold but they sent me black. Oh well, no problem here. I actually got those knobs because I uh, really like the uh, I really like the shapes above because on the top of it, you know, you can see the round is part of, you know, if you know of uh, ancient Greece, this is called Meandros. And this part, actually, I, uh, it looks like, you know, ancient Greek pottery, but anyway, what's Full-sized pots. This is a, a a goldo. This is a goldo jack, and I got this golden jack plate from eBay. Don't mind that one, because this is you know. So it's going away. I'm going to put the goldo one. A three-way switch. It's a gold or three-way switch, just like the uh, Jack above is gold with a black tip. I also got this black trim tip to go, you know, with the rest of the stuff. Even though the uh, trim system hasn't arrived yet, well, I do this video because I don't need to wait for the trim because, you know, it's nothing special, it's just a vintage uh, six-screw tremolo, so, you know, everyone pretty much knows about that. Golden locking tuners, because, you know, I like to stay in tune. This is a uh, tortoise shell. Picard with one humbucker and one single coil, a sing, uh, sockets. I was searching for the word there, so yeah. A rail humbucker and a rail single coil. The humbucker has the, uh, you know, the four conductor cable. Well, that's for those if you want to 
coil split or anything. It's a very powerful humbucker. It has very, it's a high gain thing. You know, no, you can tell by the rails, but it has it has a resistance of uh, I think it's fifteen point four, fifteen point five something. Yeah, it it has very high uh, DC resistance. It's uh, it's very high output humbucker. You know, most for heavy metal stuff and heavy rock or etc. And the uh, the cable here is, you know, for those who want to coil split. I'm not into that because, you know, there is no guitarist in the world that has just one guitar. And how many tones do you use on your daily basis? Two? So, yeah. I'm not into coil splitting, etc. And here is something that I really, really like. This is a rail single coil but what's so special about it is the cable actually this is the mother of all pickup cables because you see this metal braid around it this is actually the uh, grounding wire the metal, it's the grounding wire, the, the metal braid around it is the ground and the hot is inside, covered with cloth. So you actually have uh, both your ground and a Faraday cage around the hot table. This is something I really, really like on those pickups. The pickups that have the uh, metal braid, it's uh, to my to uh, in, in, from my humble point of view, it's the uh, the best cable around there. So, black task nut. I was between you know keeping the uh, nut white or going black, but you know, I'll go to the, with the black task nut and I'll keep this one for another strut. So that's pretty much it. For those who didn't notice, this is a uh, three single coil route, which won't go with the uh, Pickard, obviously. So I will need, you know, to route the socket so that the, that a humbucker can go in. But pretty much that's what I'm going to do with woodwork. Besides the headstock, I already have the uh, headstock. It's, you know, the uh, actual well-known brand headstock. Because I can't imagine, you know, a strut with a different headstock or whatever. So, yeah, that's the uh, woodwork I'm going to do. The extent of the woodwork I'm going to do. <laughs> And I'm going to paint this white and I'm going to put pictures of my uh, baby girl because I didn't mention that earlier. But I'm building this guitar for uh, my baby girl so, so that she will have something from me when she grows up. So yeah, I'm going to put pictures there from, you know, a picture starting from the... Uh, First day I held her in my hands, up to her being at the age she's right now. So that's the the whole concept. It will be a playable guitar. A uh, you know I'm going to put good stuff inside, so it's you know it will be a good quality guitar. And you never know. I never use. Tremolos, I, I just don't like them, but you know, if she learns to play, she might want to use it, so I'm going with the uh, safe thing, a strat. So that's pretty, mo pretty much all, pretty much everything. Well, I'll see you on the uh, next video where I will bring this whole thing together. And yeah, that's pretty much it.
So, have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!